mean? Hmm, plotting. It's more deliberate, you know what I mean? Well, this is the end. This is the last little bit of footage I'm gonna shoot for this thing. I've had people try to sabotage this, people fighting against it, people trying to take it away from me, but I'll be damned if I'm not gonna finish this. I'm hoping they'll see when I'm done with this, and I was trying to do something meaningful. All I can do is give it my best and finish this sucker. I've been arrested, scorned. My friends don't want anything to do with me. My wife left me. But I will be dipped in oil and deep fried before I give up on this thing. Back page is about people who have been given up on and who have given up on themselves. And I am not gonna do that. Like it's a little too big for me? Yeah. Do you know why this is sticky? What? Do you want to aim here or here? You want me to sit here? There we go. Oh. Well, this will help. Oh, we got the lens cap. Yeah, yeah. Where, where's, where's the, the fucking power button? I was trying to look for it too. He'll edit it to where I went first. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm Josh. I'm a freshman. And uh, my short film was. The Santa's been fucking with gays. Fuck with Santa Claus. I'm gonna still I'm gonna take his belt. Hello, young man. I'm gonna bag it up for the gays. Take that, that boy, Santa. Fuck you, Santa. Fuck you, Santa. Go, 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 go. I think Santa's crying. Don't hate our queer. I got your belt, Santa. We not Santa the rest of the day. Fuck. He's gotten angry. He's gonna kick my ass. Uh, where's my sleeve? That's what you got. I did that. Oh my God. Fuck those guys, you know? You know, that's why I do this, you know, trying to make a difference, you know, in my own little way. So. You don't mind that we're doing this right here, do you? Nah, of course you don't. Well, my name is Bill. I did a short film documentary. The, the, the last one I made was, was sort of a... And uh, the first one I made was uh, I was a senior in high school, and um, I decided to uh, 
take a road trip and uh, find my biological father. Documentary, the, the, the basically recording, well, most of the action that I saw while I was over there. Well, you'll see it, you'll get it. It shows you the, the action, most of the action. And uh, see what that was like. And uh, I had to drive all the way up to Maryland to meet the guy. And uh, that's what I made was, was sort of a, hopefully this will be better. And I can't wait to get started. <laughs> I can open it up. Where should I start? I don't even. Tell us who you are. My name is Mike. I was actually going to go pro, slipped a disc in my back, and was laid up for six months. Here, I can show you. Can you get that? You see that? It's right here. Hey, hey, my time. Mike's time. I made my film. George Bush. That's why I'm here. Lovely. Anything else? There she is. Come on in, princess. Here you go. Don't break it. All right. Uh, I'm Dylan, freshman, animator. <laughs> That's about it, man. Good genius, man. Mr. Personality. And this, of course, is our lovely assistant. Thank you very much for all your help today. Don't work too hard, okay? He doesn't really assist him with anything. What do you want to do here? Me? Yeah. Uh, let's roll something a little folksy. Some travel music, you know what I mean? shooting this is like film school 101 <laughs> good thing I'm taking it test 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 you can hear this one okay that's this one okay so oh, you can hear one of these microphones can't you you can hear this one okay that's this one okay. This one here. Okay. okay, so all four of our microphones are up. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. My 
assume that uh, yeah, TV is set up. Dylan, everybody thank Dylan for uh, helping us out today. Thankless job. So uh, I'll just uh, start over. Yay! Documentaries, right? Documentary, yay! Wow, that was a that was actually a much more enthusiastic response than uh, I expected. Thank you so very much for uh, patronizing me. So let's see, what do I have here? Yada yada yada. Ah, suddenly everybody in America had an opinion about what constitutes documentary films. Of course, you know, most people think that the modern documentary theory is that these films are epistemological crucibles. Does that make sense? I sure hope it does. I spent a lot of time writing this. We're here to acknowledge our own subjective perspective, our own voice. Your charge in this class is to let the audience hear your voice. Is there a ratified code of conduct? What are the defined ethics? Who gets protected? Who gets discarded? Who is disposable? Is the thesis of the film, its arguments and action worthy of only certain levels of sacrifice? Or does it justify the ultimate cost? Who is ready to tell us what your project will be? I'm going to um, build a new rose garden in my parents' house. In the middle of winter? So I'm going to be interviewing some people that I know have slept with some of the teaching staff on hand here. Hey! <laughs> Great. I know origami. The bird. Does it actually fly? No, a little closer. A little closer. There you go. Uh, I know the guy who built the snack machine. His rounds are pretty interesting. My mom's mentally challenged, so. Uh, My sister takes her driver's license exam in a few weeks. Okay. My brother works at the dump and. Most disgusting thing that's ever happened to me. A burning man. Mm -hmm. okay. Painting a house. Porn addiction. <laughs> Given the heteronormative nature of society to cover the white patriarchy and how it's controlling every aspect of society. Oh, and Dave, your project about the uh, students who sleep with teachers, I'll be happy to grant you an interview. My number is in the bathroom stall. Okay. Good to see you again. I am going to be doing my film on Dave. Dave is my hero. I can't wait till I get tenure. Asterix, do they or do they not look like an asshole? Uh, I, I, think, I think a better approach might be, how about, how about the uh, etymology, you know, the history, the development of the asterisk as a okay. punctuation symbol? With the silver lining of asshole. Buttle. Man on the street segment, sure. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you, sir. I have an idea for a project. I've actually had it for some time now, and we talked a little bit about it, but I'd, I'd like to go ahead with it if it's okay. Um, I'm just as committed to the uh, concept of academic freedom as the university is, so um, I leave it up to the filmmaker to decide, you know, what they're morally and ethically uh, comfortable with. Well, boy, he just made that sound really bad. <laughs> no, okay, you can cut to the chase now. The advertisements speak in euphemisms. You don't have to. Okay. I'm doing a film about whores. Okay. Yeah. What's your name again? Oh, it's not like, uh, no, no, if, if we're going to respond, we need to, uh, need to pass the mic. Okay. What's your name again? Bill. Bill. And your name? Uh, Jennifer. Uh, nice to meet you. Listen, don't, don't you think that we have enough misogynistic views without exploiting women further? He talked about protecting the integrity of the subjects. You think I really ought to be concerned about the integrity okay, of the Okay, let's just, right That's now, right now, okay, I don't want to, <laughs> let's just leave that as a rhetorical question. We'll open the floor to more extended discussion the next time you will be required to show off footage. You will be subject to the opinions of your peers. So come with a strong back and very thick skin. Thank you. I'm already right. rolling. We got this movie. Oh, that was murder. Hey, that started. This documentary started. So, <laughs> I'm surprised you can remember any of it. Yeah. The guy fucking went on forever, didn't he? Did he We should do a documentary on elbow patches. Yeah. <laughs> find his time machine. All right. Bill, Mike, Bill. Dylan. Yeah, Matt, I'm Mike. Mike. I'm Josh, if you didn't get it. I'm All already right. rolling. We got this movie hey, started. Yeah, that's uh, in and out oh. right there. I just press it? Yeah, but before you make up your mind, listen. Oh, I'm I see it. Something I've yeah. got. 
I've actually already got some grant money. Kind of stutters. I wrote letters to foundations, and one of them answered the call. And if nothing else, it's going to be a good resume. You know, they would start with us, you know, first talking to people on the phone and then talking to people in person. We were going to get to know okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. what kind of people actually place these ads. And Go ahead, just, like, come down here. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, 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 we're going to get it from all angles, different my angles, friend. Different, different angles. All the angles. All right. Yeah. We got up two singles. What do you think, Mike? Like, hookers? I mean, uh, what are you trying to say? Call, with, call guess, girls, right? Call that. girls. I mean, yeah, I mean, what, yeah, what motivates them to a, not only night, go into like a lifestyle like this, yeah. but Continue okay, it. to be bold enough yeah. to advertise it? The good side of it yeah. is uh, we've already got kind of a head start on everybody else. I mean, hey. I've got software and equipment that the school doesn't even have. Why don't I bring you guys over to my place? And let you look at what I've got set up on. Okay, okay. And, uh, I'm game for that. I think you're going to be impressed with yeah. it, man. I'm going to I mean, come check it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. But whatever ideas you guys have, I'm more than willing to listen to, more than willing to incorporate. It, you know, the more sense they make, the better. I mean, you can't have too many voices. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I have uh, my voice about it. All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this. What is that again? Exactly. It looks cool. But it, it, does, it looks very pretty. It is cool. It's all about the look. Yeah. yeah. To horse. To horse! <laughs> drink to that. I could drink twice on Sunday. Yep, yeah, tastes like ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. We're here for a purpose. And the purpose is to begin our little project. Yes. Yeah. And the first order of business. If you don't, that one with Lucy? we want the ones yeah. that say the size. Ooh, it looks pretty hot. Yeah, there you go. Like, look like yeah. horror. Yeah. Oh man, I'm look. gonna make one. Yeah. All right, fourteen. Then really. All right, all right, all right. All right. I think I'm on track. It's at ten o'clock Thursday evening. I will not be available until noon tomorrow. I was uh, looking to, uh, you know, get a, a rub down, and. Uh, you uh, give me a call back. Thanks. What the fuck? Oh, no, no, hey, you got rub down in the bar, boss. Okay, what do I say first? Here, here. There's a, there's a list of qu- well, I got them right here. You got them? Just standing by. Mission control. Can we? Four. Three. Okay, Huey. Three. Listen. Let's not say rub. Why am I drinking this? Because it's delicious. Hello? I'm calling. Mm-hmm. I don't I, have anything left for tonight, though. <laughs> Uh, what kind of services do you offer? Visa and MasterCard in cash, okay. Do you do groups? Just individuals, Mike. Uh, she did not want to talk. Mike, I got to hand it to you. <laughs> You've worked the magic. You I told you, just one off. watch and listen. Hello. Hey, is this Penny? Who am I talking to, first off? Uh, this is Joshua. Okay. And um, do you have security for yourself, or um, do, do you provide security for yourself, or...? Uh, well, my problem is, is that Hot Carl called, uh, called me. I want Hot Carl. Did, did you uh, ever meet Hot Carl? Um, Hot Carl, or he also goes by the Angry Pirate. <laughs> oh. Um, that's the only way I know the guy, Hot Carl. Uh huh. And uh, he was the one that said that you would be really good um, at massage and escorts. Like you, um, really? do, you do a really good job. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Fucking hot Carl. <laughs> Angry pirate. I mean, it's, the best thing I, it's the best thing I could come up with at the time. Hey, are you recording their conversations on the other end of the phone? Well, yeah. Is that cool? I mean, don't you need their permission? Who his permission? Not hit. Not Huey's. I don't know what the fuck. Well, you're he has to call her back tomorrow. Yeah. If he doesn't call her back tomorrow, I guess there's so. no party. I, well, I guess she's out of a job there. Yeah, How far are you going to make him go in their interview? Are you, we're just, I mean, we're, is it like a topless thing? Man, that's a like fuck a, him. You know, dude, can we cross that bridge when we get to it? Right now, all we're trying to do is see if we can get people here. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, so you call a long time with Saki Saki? God damn it, dude. <laughs> you have rice cakes for me? What the fuck, man? No, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta find something else for Alright, rice cakes are pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Who gets to conduct all the interviews with the, the, the ladies? I volunteer. I like ladies. It says tango between the sheets. It says use code. Use code? Do you know the code? Maybe you get a discount by using the code like it's a coupon. Getting in the groove, man. How many pay for this? Hmm? You set up some sort of royalty something? What are you talking about? We gotta score some bitches quick. He's been doing. You missed the serious one. 
Um, I had some uh, pertinent questions. Um, do I need a reservation? Do you work uh, holidays? Can you service groups? A party for my five-year-old son. Uh, you can maybe jump out of a cake. So uh, my name is Dylan. Thank you so much and have a wonderful weekend. I think we'd all be better served if uh, you and uh, Josh here would go monitor the control room. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I think the absinthe was a big, big mistake. Well, it's for you trying to be Euro trash. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Dylan and Dilliner, did you guys call this Julie Chick? It's highlighted. Let me look at it. No, I feel like no, 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 we didn't highlight those. There's no yeah, pictures. Yeah, I've only called yeah. people with pictures because I don't yeah. want to talk All right, very good, very good. Right. I'll give Julie that. <laughs> we'll count you down here. And five, four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, Small penis. responding to your ad in the uh, the weekly newspaper, the weekly newspaper at five six three. Please give me a call. We you guys shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ! What? So seriously, man. How the hell How is this guy getting get married, these people to agree to come here for an interview if all they hear is a bunch of jackassery in the background and people hollering and okay. making all fucking right, noise? All right, all right, all right, I'm all sorry. Right. Right. All kidding aside, well, I mean, how many people have we even gotten on the phone? Three, two, four? Two and two beer. He seems really angry. He does. Like he seems man. like he has anger. I need yeah, a fucking shit. beer. It's all that military training. Yeah. God dude, damn it, dude. Do you have the fucking phone 20 minutes? All right. Fucking genius? I hope you find one that doesn't mind me yelling shit in the background. Hey! Hey! You're the hey! Hey! That's yeah! What we need to be That's what we need to be asking. That's where your head needs to be, bro. Go for it, man. Is this sassy, sweet, sexy brunette? Because your ad's kind of vague. Do you take it up the ass? Would I be wearing the diaper? That would cost more. Are you retarded? Because that costs more. Now, how much to not have a condom? No. So no appointment. Oh, I'll get back to you. That's where she has any kids. Do you have any kids? That's none of your goddamn oh. business. Oh, Hello? Hi, um, can I speak to Chris, please? This is Chris. Oh, this is Chris? Yes. Oh, um, well, hi, Chris. Um, I saw your ad. You sound hot. Uh, yeah. in I saw your ad in the uh, the uh, weekly paper, and I was just uh, wondering if I could take advantage of your services. Oh yeah, services. Um, this is not a serious call. I'm going to hang up. No, 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 no. This is a very serious call. I, I, I just haven't. Yeah, I don't need a babysitter. Do you want more of this shit? No, I'm good. Hey. I was, uh, calling for Marla. What are you looking for? What do you need? I'm looking for love in all the wrong places, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what would you like to do to me, actually? That's deep. It's real deep. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You had a rough day? You know... You know, have you ever had to work with somebody where you kind of had to work with them? And Every day of my life, I have to work with people that I don't Wow. Know. Hey, I what? Shut up. Not, not you. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm still on the phone. What kind of glasses are those? Actually, I've got a lot of compliments on these, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good at that. Uh-huh. Okay. Not turn around. You look good enough. Wow, we have almost the same. Really? Yeah, try mine on. These feel good. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. We should just try it. Do you want to hear for a second? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Tell me. Okay, are you in law enforcement? Am I in law enforcement? No, yeah. no, not at all. No. Stuff like that. Right. Y'all have to like take turns and stuff. Sure, sure. Take turns? Yeah. Shut up. Okay. Um, <laughs> is it. It, it, you and, and like your friends, you're 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 clean and everything, right? Uh huh. Well, that's cool. And have, have you ever had any any kids? 
Uh huh. You do? Yes. How many? I have two. Really? Wow, she's a total whore. Which one? Two kids. This she had two kids. Sexy and young. Sexy and young. Yeah, man, really good work on that one. God what almighty, I feel so dirty. Yeah, call her, call her back. Call her back. Have her come over tonight. Well, I'm not going to call her back tonight. What did she call say about I wasn't on the... Her only, uh, her only stipulation was that you couldn't, like, not yeah, everybody on the same girl at once. It was, I guess, Bukaki's out. Yeah, yeah, that's what that would mean. So these are answers, man. We're getting some answers. Do you have to have protection or anything? Yeah, is there well, is she you say know, anything about wrapping it up? No, she didn't say anything about wrapping it up. You better wrap it up regardless. I guess the next thing is... Uh, it's not over, man. Uh, you feel safe? You feel safe about this, Bill? Not exactly, no. Not yet. I mean... So, uh, can you explain to us what we just saw? I guess you could call it act one of the project is, uh, found some ads that looked promising and, uh, made some cold calls and, uh, just... I see that y'all had a, a really, uh, good time. Well, yeah. I'm having a great time. Uh, so, at, at what point will you segue away from yourself to something else? Well, act two is gonna be one-on-one -on -one interviews. Right. That, I, is, that does beg the question, what is Act 3? I no, 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 no. I'm, I'm literally asking the question, what is Act 3? From, from my point of view. Uh -huh. uh, I admire your commitment. I, um, I just hope that it doesn't get in your way. The, these gentlemen here are enthusiastic, fully committed. Aren't enthusiastic, they? yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thanks. So who? Uh, yes, ma'am. No, yeah, oh, of course hey, she oh, has something oh, to say. Well, <laughs> uh, this is jackass. Okay, we've seen this. This has been done. It's insensitive and it's cruel. What, what exactly would you call it then? Uh, Hold on, just a second. I don't see how you can call my entire project immature when you've only seen what might be a third of it completely unedited. But we're just getting started. You don't think that this perhaps lacks integrity? At I, for one, would like to hear Rhoda's project. So, no, no, she, uh, she, she has a legitimate point, and you have a legi legitimate point. It's a work in progress. Uh, I, too, would like to see how Act 2 unfolds. But I can speak about uh, wiretapping laws, and I would suggest you look them up and uh, we'll discuss them. As a matter of fact, I have looked up the wiretapping laws. You're allowed to record a conversation provided, and rebroadcast that conversation, provided that one of the two parties knows that it's being recorded. You didn't know that, did you? Thank you, next. Uh -huh. right. Well, let's see, it's 11 o'clock at night and uh, I'm postponing my e editing to give you this opportunity. So yeah, let's, let's go on a journey together. Subject matter of my film are the people who, for one reason or another, have decided that they need to put an advertisement in the back page of their local rags. Most of them seem to be willing to exchange sex for money or some sort of physical pleasure for money. And I want to know what got them to this point, what kinds of people find themselves placing ads in the back page. All right, so we are Getting ready to edit. So I don't know how much you know we can count on them to open up to us personally. So I think I think it just kind of has to be what we learn. It turns into literally like very specifically our story. Well, it sounds like you're making the film more about us and not the escorts or the hookers, but we're not interesting. The hookers are the ones that are interesting. What, what, why is the audience gonna care about for Filmmakers hiring hookers. I just I just think that that's I think that's gonna be the more interesting angle <laughs> oh my God. No minor chords. Yeah, you got no minor chords in this one. Okay, okay. let's see what we got What's time? G?
like we found a use for Bill and Justin. Something. We gotta do something. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff. I think last night went pretty well. Oh yeah. We've got like like ten potential interviews. Well, you I'm happy to, get to do it. Guy. It's just, you know, mm. I'm thinking the best way to do this. I mean, most of them are going to demand at least an hour minimum, you know, for their whatever their rate is. How much was that? It was like two hundred. It varied. It seemed like it was two hundred for most of them. Yeah. But I think we need to set at least two hours for each interview, which is going to put us at two days of interviews. <laughs> I like this place. You pretty much have to know about honey. I was in a dark place. I'd just been discharged, I was knocking around, and along comes this angel, and all of a sudden I had a reason to pull things together. I don't know what she saw in me, I really don't. And so now, I'm back in school, I'm engaged. She's my muse, I guess. Honey's my inspiration. It's a second chance I never thought I was gonna get. My name's Bill, I'm a filmmaker. I make movies. Hey! hey. hey. This is honey, everybody. Hi, honey. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. It was very nice to meet you, honey. <laughs> it's been a minute, guys. Thanks. All right. Yeah, dude. Lucky fella. Her name was honey, or he was calling her honey? How did he end up with a girl like this? Her name is honey. You know that time ain't and shit, though. Yeah, but she seems a little thing. You think she's a little princess? Like, oh my god. Well, my you question me? is, where was the person uh, here? Here's what I'm trying to say. You will be the focus of this event. The bride. No, I can go with the classic tux, whatever you want me to wear. I'm just going to be happy to be standing next to you. Aww. Mm. Aww. <laughs> I wonder if she knows what Bill's uh, project is. No way. You don't think so? No way. You don't think she's that cool? Maybe, okay. but usually the hotter they are, the less cool they are. That's true. Yeah. You know, and your, your army friends. Honey, I told you I don't have any army friends. Okay? I'm done with that. Okay. I'm just, that's a part of my life I'm totally done with, okay? High school, too. I don't know anybody anymore. It's just me. And my mother sure isn't coming to this thing. Uh, how can we be true documentarians and not actually taste it? At least, you know, scratch and sniff. Yeah, scratch and sniff. Someone here has <laughs> got to do it. Someone's got to do it. Is it going to be you? Yeah. Are you going to be the lucky guy? I don't know. We should. Yeah. I, I talked to that one last night. She seemed really, really cool. cool. Who? That one, Marla. Oh, yeah. Marla. Okay, seriously. Sorry, guys. That's okay. I'm so sorry. What? You know what there's no such thing of? What's that? It's a hot piece of honey like that. It's very easy to draw like you. I know. It's very easy to draw like you. I know. It's very easy to draw like you. Yeah, I lucked out, didn't I? You can take a still shot, but you can't film while we're moving. Oh, is that right? That's because of the 9-11 stuff. Aww. Can we just not film out the stations. window? Can we just film each other, well, not out the window? Oh, well, that's yeah. on you. Yeah. Each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, go out Or do stills when we stop. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can't film out the window. I see what you mean. Thank you. Very good, sir. Thank you. Okay. No more filming out windows. Ten percent of all the women that have ever been awarded an Academy Award for acting have been awarded for it for playing prostitutes. And a vast majority of the others who have won it have played prostitutes at some point in their career. It's, it's not something that's a secret. Despite the fact that there are so many laws, you don't really get the impression that people are all that against it. But something like prostitution, which is also illegal, is apparently accepted by enough people that it not only survives but flourishes in Western culture and, and even Eastern culture, if you want to know the truth. I, I met a woman when I was uh, in Iraq and... I think it can be all of us. I think it's only... Well, of course not. It can't be all of us. It's gonna have to be one of us. Huh. And 
I'm not sure what that one person's going to have to do. Um, I think it's necessary. I don't think the film works without it. I don't. I think you've got a nice little essay, you know, but you don't have a documentary film unless you have that Act Three. Well, we're not a long way from having to make a decision on it, but I, I just don't. So think... So it's just going to be one of us. Yeah. If we do it. Yeah. If it happens. If it happens. <laughs> All right. So for Act Three. No matter which way we do it, we're going to have to find a way to do it democratically. No, I'm not saying I'm not going to want to do it, but we do. I mean, it's got to be democratic at the least. Yeah. Welcome back. That was James Haney in the farewell tour. My mom checked my MySpace. Joining us here in the booth tonight are uh, Bill, Michael, Dylan, and Josh. They call themselves documentary filmmakers. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for that introduction. It's good to be here. Now, uh, which one of you is the leader? There's Something I came up with a few months ago, and uh, I got the grant money for it, so I guess if there is a leader, it's me. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm the pretty boy. So who are your influences? Who do you guys? Can think you ask us that question again? Because I was filming this guy, but I wanted to get you. Okay. Just relax. Just have fun right. with it. No problem. What? How are you guys going about this? What's the the approach you've got? The next thing we hope to do, honestly, is we hope to have. Well, you're, uh, gonna, you're gonna have to learn how to edit first of all. <laughs> that right. wasn't. I fucked my camera up. Oh my. Oh, can I say that? No, that... you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that on the radio. Okay, <laughs> now, now if, if we take this a step further, whether you're going to film it or not, do any of you actually plan on participating with any of these women after the interview? Everybody knows what a happy ending is. Exactly. And we're not talking about a fairy tale here. <laughs> right. No. I'll the... be honest with you. I've, I've got nothing to hide. I've, I've been in places where it's legal, okay. and, and I have... Okay, and, and you, you don't find that to be risque? You don't find that to be dangerous in any way? There's always been prostitution. There always will be prostitution. I think the best thing that we can do is look at it embrace honestly. It. it Maybe embrace it, maybe even legalize that it, and more. regulate the hell out of it. it it's depriving rape, 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 the society rape, rape. in general of a, a massive tax yeah, revenue. Yeah, yeah. So you can get around the exploitation here by having... Yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable with the word exploitation. I mean, it's not like... I'm going to have to call bullshit on that. On. Um, you just cussed again, <laughs> dude. Can, do you realize that you're on the this air? I'm so very, very sorry to I, waste your time like okay. this. This is Ryan. You've just been exposed to Bill, Michael, Dylan, and Josh. Catch their documentary Folly when the production class holds its premiere in the West Lecture Theater at the semester's close, if you so desire. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks for having us, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. That's the sickest fucking thing I've ever heard, guys. What, are you serious? It's fucked up. Which part? And, and one of you was talking about actually wanting to get busy with one of them afterwards? No, wait, 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 wait. Just, yeah, we're immersing ourselves in the air. The is okay. Uh, what, what, how much do you actually know about what these women do and what they go through? Watch the movie when it's done. Have us back on and we'll have this conversation later, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks. Look, dude. Thanks for your time. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. We're done? Hurry! Right. I'm no, sorry. I'm sorry. No, I was no, shaking, my... Dylan. But... Let me some Skinner, Bill. I'm sorry I was shaking, Let me some Skinner. I was angry. I was angry. That guy was for real, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a fucking prick, dude. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine we made him all that. Are you coming? So where are you supposed to Look at these hot ladies. Uh, if you're asking me if my household was ruled by a white patriarch, I'd have to say no. So growing up, no. If, I guess if there was a dominant male in the house, it would have been me. No, oh, I okay, wait a second. I didn't say I felt like the dominant male. I never said I felt like the dominant male. Okay. There were males. More than one. Of course. Yeah. What was that like? Were these your mother's boyfriends? Were they husbands? Yeah, some of them. Yeah. 
name of the first one we're expecting. <sighs> we gotta get that cleaned up. Which one? That. How's that footage? Yeah. What's the problem with it? What's the problem with it? It's flickering all over the place. It looks middle school. Spent a little too much money on this equipment. Oh my God, who's that? Who's that? It's a guy. Who's that? Stay right there, man. Tell me your name again. I'm sorry. My name is Ricky. Ricky. And uh, you're a professional, Ricky. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How long have you? Uh, how long have you been doing it? How did you get started? Are you pretty good? You have a lot of experience, so you're pretty proficient. You know what you're doing. You know your way around a man. Is it mostly men that you get? Is that the worst thing that's ever happened to you? What's your favorite thing about this job? Do you have any kids? What's the craziest thing anybody's ever asked you to do? Why does my camera keep turning off? Am I running out of juice? I don't know. Did you charge this last night? You know what it is? It's your... It's probably your fucking thumb hitting the oh, off button, which is so inconveniently located right here. Uh, How could you even tell? Uh, like I see it in the black and white, that's how. What? You can see it right there. She has a fucking black eye, dude. I kid you not. What do you call a hooker with one black eye? What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you already told her once. <laughs> what do you call a hooker with two black eyes? What were, uh, what? This is just, I mean, I'll give you your rate, your, min, your rate that you quoted. Your, I'm, I'm going to take care of you. It's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. All right? That's not what happened to your eye, is it? Like job related? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to talk about it? What, what's, what's going on? What do you mean? I can hear people. Oh, you. I've never been very good. trying to listen. Oh, I, I think I just left the TV on in the back room. Can we go turn it down? Here, I'll be right back. Hang on. Turn the TV down. Turn the TV down. Need to turn the TV down. I must have left this thing on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just. Hmm. It's, uh, if you feel like leaving, that, that, that's fine, you know? Um, I'd prefer that you stay. I mean, I haven't even paid you yet. Here, why don't I, uh, let me give you uh, your money, okay? And then you'll stay? Okay, thanks. Everything okay? You need something to drink? What are you laughing at, Giggles? Oh my god. Why did you guys get put in here with me? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was totally one of the interview bookers and Bill yeah, wouldn't let me do wouldn't it. Allowed to be. Uh, you just have a seat. We'll just finish this interview and you can take your money and everything's going to be okay. What did you film me? I'm fucking uh, rolling B roll right now. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can't hear anything. I wasn't really comfortable with I'm sorry I, about it. <laughs> She's a passionate eye. She's leaving now. Sorry. Right. You know what? I, I think I need to leave. Here's your money. Okay. I, you sure I, you don't want to? It's just. I, it's just a couple of yahoos in the. I, I don't. I don't. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Yeah. Hey! It's shut the fuck up! Oh what the hell are you guys doing, man? Uh, the, when the door was closed, then we were. Yeah. When I came back in to tell you to turn the TV down, that didn't clue you in that maybe you were being a little too fucking loud. She just left. Could you not see on the monitors that she had a giant black eye? Yeah, Clearly she had a recent bad experience. All right, you know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to find something for y'all to do where we can't hear you and you can just be as loud as you want to be. Okay, boys? We'll figure it out. In the meantime, shut it down. It's really fucking intense, dude. It's why don't you just fucking take over the whole project, Bill? Yeah. Oh, you got you got me in the shot. Oh yeah. Hey. How do I look? Do I look pretty? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I just totally spit all over the camera, dude. <laughs> I spit all over the camera. So why won't they let us participate in the process anymore? <laughs>
<laughs> seriously, uh, man, I can calm it down. You know, why can't I hang out with the hookers, you know? Yeah, I think they're intimidated by us, truthfully. <laughs> that shit's fucking boring. Yeah. What are you uh, guys fine. doing? Oh, here? oh shit! <laughs> How you doing? Uh, hi. What are y'all doing? Um, doing? I want you to get away from my property. You want to uh, be in a movie? I don't think so. I, want I you think just, you could be in our movie. Know? What are you doing then on the street? I may be old, but I'm not blind, and I know what y'all are doing. I, I, go, I go to the post office every day, and I to all these people that come and go from here. If you're not off this property in five minutes, I'm calling the police. Call the police. Yeah. What are they going to do to us? Yeah. We're, do yeah. we're not doing anything wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No, they can't do shit to you us, old lady. Get the hell out of here. Oh. <laughs> I want you to say that when the cops get here. Oh, I will. Out. <laughs> Freedom of speech. Have a wonderful yeah, day. Yeah, have a wonderful day. Take care. Man, look at that ass. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> See that? Uh-huh. I wonder if that's him. I don't know if he's moving or if he... Okay, he's stopping, he's stopping. Okay. Are you getting a close-up? I'm yeah, just doing yeah, the far yeah, away. I'm a little curious he's definitely, here. definitely, you know, stopping me. Why are we calling dudes over? Because that's not sexy. Okay. That's not what sells. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> we need like a, we need a microphone, dude. What are Bill and? Uh, yeah. No. Did it, go away, yeah, we're doing yeah. our shot, dude. We're the cops. Yeah, we're cops. Yeah. <laughs> we're cops. <laughs> Don't say that, dude. You can, yeah. You get in trouble for that. <laughs> he he said, "Are you cops?" I said, "No." Are you cops? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I think that's all the food we need. If people watching this. Yeah. Can I help you? Uh, mine's Ryan. I'm uh, going to be the chaperone tonight. Yeah, she's not with me. She'll be here in just a minute. I need to go over a couple ground rules with you. Yeah, okay. Uh, do's and don'ts. Okay. Kind of the most important rule is when she gets here, I'm going to be waiting out in the car all night. I'm going to be out there for her. Any dispute that happens between you, I'm going to take her side because I'm here for her protection. Sky's the limit, man. It's all good as long as she doesn't have to come get me. Because once she comes against me, my hands are tied. Okay? She may be a lady, but I'm no Tom Jones. You understand that? I do, I do, yeah. Okay. Now I want to make this loud and clear, okay? These girls that I chaperone are elegant women, okay? They're highly trained professionals and skilled entertainers, okay? So you're going to treat them as if you treat your own mother, your sister, or even your grandmother, okay? <laughs> you treat them with utmost respect. Hey, no, 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 it's, it's, it's the I don't care, man. You're going to pay your cash. She's into whatever you're into. But don't make her uncomfortable, okay? Very good. Okay. Okay? I'm good, man. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah, you want a beer for the road or anything? No, I'm good, man. All right. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Whew. Beer for the road? Dude! Did you see this guy? Of course I want to ply him with a little bit of alcohol. Are you kidding me? Come on the door. Clean this shit up. Son of a gun. Who the is this fucker? Yeah. This oh, guy, oh, I'm a fucking fuck? badass. I can't even keep my pants up. So, I don't, something. this guy is. Well, he looked both ways before he cried. He's going straight to that house, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck oh, is yeah. this guy? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. He's yeah, a mess. Dude. You're on. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. Yeah, I got a delivery. Uh, seven, uh, one, uh, three, four, five. Are you Gary? Uh, yeah. Here you go. Here's your beer, man. So, uh, oh, oh, hey, that, that's, that's oh. not going to be necessary. You want me to? No, 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 that's all right. Everything's cool, man. It's cool. Well, you know, if you don't fucking pay me, man. No, I'm no, gonna I'm good. I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you. All right, okay. Jamie, you will fuck you up, man. I'm not talking about just fucking you up. If you fuck you up. Oh, hey, we got no problem. And I will help you fuck you up if you don't fucking give me my fuck money. No, we'll give you your, we'll give you your fuck money. You don't even have to do any fuck. All right? It's just me and you. This is weird. No, 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 I know. Let me, I just need to move your chair. Here's a weak spot on the floor. I'll make sure that uh, you're doing pretty good, okay? So I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay, hang on one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, are you seeing this? This guy is totally fucking wigging out, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Um, 
just keep the beer. Are you are you leaving? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, here, here, here. Let me. Uh, sorry, I have. Oh, 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 Thank you. We're going to drag it outside and have those two idiots take him to the hospital, all right? They don't give a shit. No, 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 let's do it. All right. Oh, you got it? Not yet. What the fuck? Get right yeah, now. What the fuck is going on? You all right, Gary? Uh, you in there, buddy? Quiet. Help me stand him up. The uh, hey, interview's over. That's right, man. You're going to get paid now. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh shit. I'm oh, okay. Shit. Yeah, he's waking up. He's all right. Oh, he's you're all right. Get the card now. Get it now. This guy is having Psychotic break here. Hold on, man. hold on, hold on. It's okay, dude. Hold on, hold Where on. Where are my fucking keys, oh, man? Jesus Christ, get the car. Come on, Josh. Where are my fucking keys? Oh, oh, like, lost his mind. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why this guy's hitting me. Did anyone see us? You got your seatbelt? Gotta get my seatbelt. Just keep fucking talking to him, man. What's your favorite color? What's his name? Laundry? Lincoln. It says Lincoln on his. Your seatbelt's killing me. Here, use your Lincoln, whatever you use. Okay. Oh, dude, I don't, don't you fucking bomb in my car. Watch those bumps, Josh. Lincoln, it's all right, buddy. Hey, come on, dude. Lincoln. Help me out. Help me out, brother. Pull him closer to the, this way, uh, this way. Let's get that, let's get that building in the shot, dude. Okay. Uh, make sure he's breathing. I'm gonna check his pulse. He's breathing, He's right? breathing, he's breathing. He's breathing, he's breathing. Don't run over him. I'm not gonna run over him. Okay. Oh, Take care of yourself, man. Good doing business with you, man. for you, dude. Yeah. Right, right yeah, you see him? You see him over here? Okay. This is wrong. Okay. He's good. He's okay. We yeah. Didn't... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Take care, buddy. We'll, we'll see you later. Take care, Lincoln. What did y'all end up doing with him, man? Uh, we just fucking dumped his body, dude. But we made sure that we. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Where did you dump him? A parking lot? No, 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 I no, 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 Man, I didn't yeah, want to see it. I've never done this before. I've never had a drop off a fucking body. I'm making sure. It's like you guys call him anyway. What the hell? You guys do it all the time. I spelled R O B B O, which is Robo, not Robo, which would be R O B O. Sure, yeah. So I'm not to be confused or anything. It's Robo. I consider myself an anarchist composer. Actually, I, I, I kind of think of myself as a chaos musician. I'm not sure which I like better. I've got these notes in this little notebook here. And Blocks of sound, blocks of sound. They're like, they're little sonic paintings. Like, uh, I kind of think of myself as a sonic painter. By the way, that's a nice old wall. The thing that you get from this is it's totally atonal. It's total dissonance. And uh, Robo, 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 Robo. 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 Hey, did Robo. you put an ad in a freaking classified for a musician? No, no. Who did it? <laughs> Do Did Mike do this nonsense? What the hell? Mike! It's always new. I created this new term for that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Semper Neo. Which one of you knuckleheads put an ad in the paper for a musician? Uh, is he still, who's he talking to? I don't know who the fuck he's talking to me. First, you gotta realize that no one's heard it for centuries. I call my, my eternal project ancient Egyptian music. Hear that? Yeah. That's what it sounds like. And that's what the Egyptians that's, that's were into, right. huh? I, I happen to know that's what it sounds like. Uh, I'm telling you, that was very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm telling you, this, 
this is the next step forward for techno music. appreciate that. <sighs> There's just no real way to make a living in seminary. I just want to gain some skills. Well, you are doing the Lord's work. And I still am. I believe that. So you take you take all comers, so to speak. Okay. I get get man. Yeah. Limits. I have limits. I mean, I'm a tasteful person. Well, right now, it's mostly like clown stuff, you know, but not like the big circus clown. Like, they like the delicate French mimes. You're laden with equipment there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I guess, yeah, just set that down anywhere. Um, you're a massage therapist. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You know, the private parts, the private areas, the certain transaction that can occur. I don't do that. No. Oh. No, 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 no. I, that's what licensed massage therapists Right, is. right. I, okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Um, I are, appreciate are you sure you don't want to get your cocks up? You know, I, uh, it's just been such a weird day. I don't think syphilis is going to be oozing out their pores. Yeah. You know, there's like a yellow crust around oh, each toe no. now. Oh, it's like no. really disgusting. So, so it's like riding a bike at some point. It's like riding a bike, yes. Yeah, okay. It's like Very riding good. a bike. Very good. Good. It's, like, it's, like riding, it's a lot like riding a bike, man. <laughs> it's a lot like riding a bike. And sometimes having the bike ride you, right? Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And as I did like two strokes, and all of a sudden I hear, oh, oh, nah. oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Everything in moderation, you're exactly right. If you'll just hang on right here, I'm going to go get your money, okay? Oh, you okay in there? Uh huh. Okay. I guess we're done, man. It's been a great pleasure to I've, you. I've, I've had a good time. Yeah, yeah anytime, that. anytime. Absolutely. You want one of them hugs? Yeah, shh, shh. Stay yeah. like that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well, Rob, I appreciate your time. You've been very professional, and I'm so sorry about the misunderstanding. But yeah, you, you might want to check your ad location. <laughs> Well, I'm, be sure to check out your MySpace page. Okay, please do, please do. All right. That was a wall of crazy. You know what? I almost wish that was the cops. My God. <laughs> what a day. Hi, leave a message. It's Mike from the other night. It sounded like we had, you know, it sounded like kind of connected a little bit maybe the other night. I'll try back in a little bit. Sophie. That's a lovely name, Sophie. Thanks. You're a lovely girl. Thanks. Lovely. Wow, are you happy? Well, I don't go without. Yeah, that's good. I, I just want to say right up front that I think what you do is important. Is what? Is important. Oh. The service that you provide I think is very valuable. I, I think what you do is important and I'm, I'm not judging you at all. Okay. okay? You don't have any kind of sexual relationship that isn't professional? No. Okay. Do you have a certain routine that you go through? <laughs> you know? Okay. <clears throat> right now? Sure, sure, right now. Appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Sandy? Oh, right on time. Come on in. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I guess being able to control men. It's, it's very exhilarating. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. That's pretty good. I like that. That makes me feel special. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Hang on one second. Are you expecting someone? No, not this really. Will be extra. Yellow, we're up. 
Are you there? Oh, honey is so hot. Let me tell I you. I know, dude. I want to do her in the butt. Get this. Honey comes home. You know what he tells her? He what? tells her that she's an auditioning wedding singer. Oh, how did it play over? It's hard to hear because I'm sequestered into the steamy, fart-smelled uh, room. Hey, at least you're not room. sequestered out into a car where oh, we have to deal with the elements. Well, that's y'all's own fault. Hold on. Do I'm what? Tra- I'm trying to listen to Bill cover his ass. I think okay. they're talking about some wedding. <laughs> he is at balls deep. You know what I'm saying? He is balls deep in bullshit. Deep. A wedding singer. Yeah. So that's, um, that is what I do. Mm-hmm. Do you have like a... No, this honey girl must be like a box of hammers, if you know what I mean. Because she, <laughs> she just bought it of line and sinker. Now with this really? Like, Bill is caught, dude. This girl's... I don't know what the hell she's doing with him. God, what a tool. I bet you she has daddy issues and she wants a hero. I've taken up a whole lot of your time, so... You sure have. I sure have. So why don't I, um... Well, I've got your website and we can listen to... You have clips on your website that we can listen to, right? Yes. And, uh, it was nice to meet you, honey. And we'll see where it goes, okay? Okay. Thanks Call a lot, me. Sandy. Absolutely. The wedding singer asked you for a beer. I was just trying to be accommodating. That's what she wanted. That's nice. Um, yeah. I thought her name was Cindy. Sandy? Sandy. Mm-hmm. It won't matter. Like Sandy from Greece or something. I think she's got a uh, thing for... Oh, Greek. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Sandy. <laughs> the, movie. the movie. Yeah. yeah. Now it, it, it looks on my end, he's interviewing her as a prostitute. <laughs> Maybe sitting, this is one of his little sick fetishes. Yeah, she's sitting where the the hookers are sitting. You're so sensitive. How's that matter? Oh, dude, I'm not sensitive, I'm realistic. Just write it down, okay? Okay. Don't, don't forget that. No, 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 I, I've got it written down. I just, just Okay, no, okay, I'll write something, I'll have something. I've got something good, it's, you know. But I don't want you to be working at the wedding. Hey, that's, it's not that's working. Right. You just hit the buttons and walk away. Uh, that's not what the wedding day is for. The wedding day is for us to get married. No. Did you go get fit for your suit yet? I'm doing that tomorrow. Okay. You're going to have a fantastic wedding. I promise. I'm not going to mess this up for you, okay? okay. Honey, okay. honey, yes. honey, yes. will you marry me? Yes, I'm going to marry you. Okay. Come here. Clean up your your stuff. Right, and I'll I'll fix the hole in the wall too. Yeah. Absolutely. Love you. Bye. This is Marla. Marla, hey. Hey. How you how you doing? This is Mike. Remember I talked to you the the other night. Is this Mike? What are you doing? Working. What are you doing? Oh, God, I feel like I sold my soul. You know what I mean? You ever feel like that? Yeah, you seem very upset. Is there something I can help you with? When you're working, like, and you have these great ideas, right? And then somebody yeah. comes in and just doesn't respect your opinion on anything. Have you just Whoever ever... Whoever has money is always the boss <laughs> in my business. You know, just a piece of meat. I mean, you know, just... Right. You know, just sit there. I mean, I have this treasure trove, really, of creative ideas, and I guess I'm a giver, you know, I give and give. Is that too deep? I mean, am I shooting too high? It's not too deep at all. Keep going. I'd like to make documentaries with a point, film with the vision, you know, something somebody will watch and go, Right. Well, honey, I'd really like to talk to you some more, but I have to go meet a client right now. You gotta meet a client? Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's cool. Okay. Yellow. Hey, what are you guys doing out there? Oh shit! Is this Bill? No. Oh, is this Mike? Yes. It's about fucking time you call us. What the hell's going on in there, man? Are you jealous? No. Bill's getting some action. The Bill's not getting anything, you know? She seems really cool. Well, we should party with her. Why don't we all go in there and we all hang out? He's telling me to what hold on What are you talking about? Second. Hold on. Bill's busting my balls, Josh. I can't really talk. Oh, Bill. He's always what? busting what balls. Busting balls, Bill. How's Marla doing? She's doing fine. Aren't yeah, you watching yeah, she looks good. She looks great. Are you not watching this? Put the Whatever. phone down. Yeah, go back to your interview. Okay. Can you keep it down?
down a little bit. Oh, sorry. I'll what the hell's going yeah, on, guys? I don't know. What, what do you mean? What are you guys doing out there? Job. Is Marla ready, ready for some interviews? interviews? I'm out here. I'm out here because Bill told me to come out here because I, I'm not mature enough mm -hmm. to hang out and uh, interview anybody. Right. I guess, I guess I'm not either. either. I guess yeah, I guess not. I guess really yeah, this is this is the Bill show. He just fucking hung up on me. Should we go in there and check it out? See what's going on? Okay. I like giving pleasure to people. I like making men and women feel like they're special. And in a way, it's kind of glamorous, whatever you like to do. I am very good at it. Yeah. <laughs> You're incredible. <laughs> Can I just say that? You're absolutely incredible. I, hmm, I've never talked to anyone like you. You know what? You should come in and see her. You should come in and meet her because she's really hot and she's really okay. cool. She's a really cool person. You know, she's not just this average hooker that Bill what wants to exploit. You she know, takes her clothes off for money. Well, only right now. She only does that right now because that's uh, kind of like what she does. <laughs> you know. She looks good, dude. I'm looking at her through the window. Oh, I see you. Yeah. In the, I see you in the video. Do you see me in the feed? Oh, right now she may be a hooker, but that's not who she is. That's not who she is as a person. That's just what she does. And I don't know if what you do makes you who you are. When we first started this project, I didn't realize you were such a pit bull. Whatever, shut the fuck up. This isn't even about making a documentary anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about that. It's about Bill getting laid. See, you can see it. You can see it in her face. You can see it in her face that she knows Bill's full of shit. Do you like this? Do you like talking to... <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me get your money. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Yeah. It's a, Very nice to meet you. It's it's very strong. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Please yeah. call me again if you want to talk some more. Okay. Yeah, maybe something more. Like you got the competition. You know what? Hey, bring it on. Bring it on. Cause I'm way more of I'm way more everything than Bill is. <laughs> Bill's some PSTD douchebag. Hey, when did you guys get here? That's this great. is our contribution, Bill. Oh, yeah, and if you're gonna face us out, about... we're gonna do our own version of the movie. <laughs> That's cute. Uh -huh. Well, you know, if you're tired, you can go home. That's cool. <laughs> Can I go? Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Really? Call it a day, boys. Alright, all right. thanks, dude. Okay. Come on, Dylan, let's go make a cartoon. Right. <laughs> Got a new battery in this camera. That's the height of the. I think I'm recording. Am far. I recording? Are the minutes rolling? I can't see them. Are they rolling? Yeah, they're rolling. Yeah. Okay. What's ND on it? What are you talking about? Oh, it's flashing in the camera. I just uh -oh. it for hours. I sure wish we were better trained at this. Yeah. You got this? You're getting close yeah, up. I got it. I got it yeah, wide yeah. back. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to get a still. I don't know. Oh, my God. Red hair. Yeah. Oh, that's a fucking professional sweet. there, man. Hold on a second, man. I got to get a close up of this. Sweet, oh, dude. Up this. oh, I'm totally okay, into that. Sweet. Are you getting that? Good, because yes, I'm not. Yes, Why not? Oh, shit. Oh, oh yes, I can't get close dude. enough. Are you getting us too? Uh, I'm getting us. Okay, you got the I got us. Okay. Fuck. Oh, hee hee. Okay. Is this their pimpeter car? <laughs> oh shit. Oh the fuck, dude. I think he fucking sees us, man. No, I think he fucking sees he us. Oh, he sees us. Like, nah, That's dude. a big motherfucker. Oh, dude. He oh looks, my fucking he god. He doesn't look happy, dude. Fuck, Come he's on. coming up. Oh shit. He's coming over here, man. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh god! Hey, dude. So long. Hey, what's going what on? Are you guys fucking cops or something? No. No, no we're, we're not fucking doing cops. a. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, hey, dude. Shit. Hey, calm down, man. That's expensive <laughs> shit, dude. No, we're just no, fucking no. hanging out, dude. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, oh, just oh, calm oh, down. Just calm down. thing in my face, man. Uh, Why are you filming me, man? Don't you fuck it up here. You can't do shit to me, man. Fucking. I'll call the cops, dude. Cops? Yeah, I'll call the cops. I worry about fucking cops, man? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. No, 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 Hey, 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 get away from the hey, fucking car. Hey, fucking get away from the fucking car. Hey, let him go, man. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> You're next. No. Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> you hurt me, man. You hurt me, man. Oh, shit. No, 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 no.
Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, Let him go. Gosh, what the fuck, it, man? Oh, I'm getting this all on fucking tape, dude. Oh, shit. D dude. Get out of the car. No, fuck you, man. Get fuck you. Get oh, get shit. Out. Fuck you. <laughs> Murder ball. <laughs> How is it? You're in a hospital. So, uh, so Bill, it's your show. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you if you still thought this project was totally safe. Your thoughts? Nobody saw that coming, huh? Nobody could have seen that coming at all. Is the rest of the project going to go like this, or? Your thoughts, really. Have a guy dress up in a clown suit and come over and kick your ass. Oh, yeah? Oh, that sounds odd. Yeah. I mean, you should Great. turn, right? Great. That, mean, that means we can have two hospital trips, right? Uh, Dr. Davis, telephone, please. Dr. Blair, Dr. Blair, Dr. J. Hamilton, Dr. Okay, J. Okay, wrap it up. Sisters. Yeah. Like, for real, biological sisters. Yeah. And wow, that this is, just, <laughs> this is too much. I'm done with this. I'm not gonna ask you any negative no. questions. You girls are too much fun. No. Eight. Nobody's helped. I thought you knew how to play poker. They're hustling us. That's you guys be yeah. careful. Yeah. 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 It's that four finger cleavage. It's distracting. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna get negative? Well, the people? way it's been going, we've been winning. So yeah. Well, I won. I won a couple of hands. All right, here is your fucking river. Three sixes, suck it! Get ready to take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. We're gonna go out and have some real fun. We need to call Marla, Megan, Marla, yeah. Megan, Sandy, and Sophia, and you bitches can't come. Mm. That's all right. Here and still have none. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, the rest, man. Chroma Kimi. Hey, bullshit. Get in here and drop them, fucker. Come on, be a man. Bring it. Man. All right. Yeah, you know what's funny is those were white when he bought them. <laughs> Reflexivity. Does anybody know? What do you think it is, sir? Let's fucking party! This is where I'm gonna be. This is where I'm gonna be. This is where I'm gonna be till I go somewhere else. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. They're coming for you and no one else. They're coming through the door. They're coming through the door. They're coming through the door and they take you away. They're coming for you. Coming for you. They're coming through the door. Coming through the door. Coming for you and there's nothing you can do. Hey, hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Can I be serious with you for a second? It's just that I'm, I'm kind of worried about you. I was fucking your mom the other day. She got really upset. She hey, started crying to me. Fucking say a word about my mother, all right? My mother's got nothing to do with this. Hey, wait a second. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, my mother's got nothing to do with this. Uh, okay. I just, right? I just want you to know. I was just kidding, dude. It was just a it's joke. cool, man. It's cool. Okay. I'm just telling you. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right, it just good. got a little tits there for a second. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. We're cool. Yeah. Gonna take us away. 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 I said there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Why don't nothing you can do? Sucks to be you, but there's nothing you can do. Ain't nothing I can do. It sucks to be you. 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 Is that two minutes?
Okay, yeah. I think we're all up. No, I, I kind of want to hear what everybody has to say. So, okay, Gen uh, yes, sir, uh, let's uh, pass this one back out. All right, go ahead and uh, pass that back, please. Um, yeah, I was wondering if you also had that girl with the blue hair's number. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, anybody else? How did she get the black eye? She wouldn't tell me how, who asked that question. I don't know. Did that guy survive? I mean, is he okay? These are questions that your audience is going to want to know about, and possibly the authorities. He's fine. He was fine. You might have had the slightest chance, a slim potential, to illuminate a subject with real drama, tragedy, and true conflict, but instead you choose to completely ignore it and masturbate. You are sexually abusing the audience with this film. It's a complete illustration of modern man's self-destructive desires of his exploitation of women's historic slavery to commercial industrial brothel that is man's economy. Let's hear it for Rhoda. Thanks, Rhoda. That was really good. Um, um, thank you. Thank you. If I, no, thank you. I get to thank respond you. to this. No, thank, you. thank you, Jennifer. Thank, thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer. That's right. You're right, Jennifer. More power to you. I hope when we get to Act Three. Where is that? Where's your concern for the exploitation of women? Did Which you ones? like that? I don't know because I didn't get to see a lot of them. Because I didn't get to conduct any of the interviews. Camera I see a lot of Bill. Up here I see a whole lot of Bill. You saw a whole lot of Bill. Mike's giving you his ideas. He wants to do the interviews. Your whole project. Hey, shit. hey, gentlemen, gentlemen. Clearly, one of the goals is to learn uh, conflict resolution. Uh, working as a team. Mike feels like he's not being allowed to do enough because he hasn't been on camera enough. This is the first time you've said to me that you really want to be on camera. Dylan's passion is animation, and he was kind enough to share that with me, and now he's going to be kind enough to share a little bit of that with you. Dylan, why don't you come out here and demonstrate your contribution to this project for us, sir? And we can talk about it. We will put you in the project. I'm questioning your ethics and your morals. Hey, so this isn't hey, just a goddamn hey, school project for me, okay? You are making a scene, is what you're doing. All right, look, if I'm a little bit heavy-handed with you, heavy handed you're a Paul Busting prick. You ruled everybody out. It's turned into about? you documenting your own What are we looking at right fantasy? here? Look at this. What are we doing right no now? I have no idea. I don't either, but this is what right they wanted now. to do. They came to me and asked me about it, and that's what we're doing. We're making it happen for them. I don't know. Are you gonna, you're going to have to involve me. Wanted, yeah. You were just I'm going to have to no more input on Act 3. You know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. You're right. For Act 3, we'll just draw straws between the four of us. Draw straws. And... Well, I can't think of a more democratic way to do it. What do you want to do it? I'm we'll cool with straws. straws. Hey, guys, fun. We're gonna for Act Three. We're gonna draw straws. Maybe you guys right. can contribute more than just. Uh, uh, no. I'm, I'm cool. Okay. We don't need to draw straws. Yeah. No, no we're drawing straws. Take care of it. You can draw. Yeah. You just want you just want this to be decided between the two of us. Yeah. No, just take care of us. All right, but I mean, listen. If you if you want to if you want to do this Act Three thing, you need to tell me now because I don't want anybody feeling like I'm stepping on toes. They're off their own. Okay, we'll draw. I don't have any straws. Let's flip a coin. Flip a coin. I'm cool with that. Ready? Yeah. Okay, call it me. Flip it. Heads. This is Mike. Remember, I talked to you the the other night. Is this Mike? Are you retarded? Cause no, that's none of your goddamn business. Well, that's awesome, Bill. Way to. I mean, you didn't even tell me you were rolling on that. That's that's awfully, that's real cool. Well, you know, I figured you were, you were using enough production phone minutes. You wanted to be in the, in the project. This was becoming too much about Bill. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a good way to get you in there. Well, I mean, we'll have to whittle it down. It's fine. Bit. It's fine. Let's move on. idea that, that a matriarchal society here is going to be better than, than one dominated by patriarchs? I mean, is that where we're going with this? Well, that's a general idea, and we think that there could be an overall <laughs> less amount of violence. Oh my god! Oh, it was fantastic! It was fantastic. It was, it was wonderful. I mean, there were men coming in and out all over the place, and uh, some of them who beat me and some of them who didn't, but yeah, it was, it was fucking great. Yeah, it was, uh, wow, boy, I can't imagine 
how much worse my life would have been if my father had been home and in charge of things and running things around the house than if my whore of a mother was doing it. You're right. Matriarchal society is what this is all about. I mean, all we have to really do, Elizabeth I, see Margaret Thatcher. That for some reason, people have to whore themselves out because of the way that, that men are treating them or what men subject to the, everybody would be whores. Everybody, because whores beget whores. Nobody makes you be a whore, you learn it. That's it? You used the control room footage when we were in the control room. Again, just trying to get you in the shot. Go ahead. I was just trying to get us in the shot. You made it, it's more about us watching you have sex than you experiencing the process. What is the, what did you do to it to make, where you can only, I bumped up you the can contrast. only see the silhouette? You bumped the contrast up, why? Mm -hmm. Weird. I mean, your pain her to like you. I mean, what are you trying to hide from her? I wasn't really you trying to hide You still left your clothes on. My I think a lot of people probably whole, feel I that mean, way about I don't it. even know if you know what the whole point of the project was about anymore. The way it was shot, it's still going to be awkward, but I think it's going to be excruciating to sit through 15 minutes of that. I just don't think it, it, it serves oh, a purpose. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Move on. He's still in his pajamas, man. Put this on, Jailbird. I was prison. Yeah, yeah. How's your asshole, man? <laughs> were you there? Yeah, we were there. We were kidding me. Well, he's like, oh, gang. <laughs> board, 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 board. There doesn't seem to be a lot happening. I'm saying 10 more minutes and then we'll leave. Well, there's nothing going on. They send me out on shit like this, and then when I don't come up with a story, it's my fault. It's my fault. Oh, that's who keeps laughing. There's guys over there. Look, what the hell are they doing? They're probably laughing at me. Are they taping us? Wait, a helicopter's coming. I don't even have a station flag on my microphone. But that's all, that's all we knew. We knew we were going to see some fireworks, and so we wanted so, to go yeah, over there so and see that. Knew he well, was we going to see fireworks. Yeah. But yeah. you knew Ray was there. Too, I didn't have a. Uh, all I'm doing is sitting there editing footage, and all of a sudden. The door opens, and I'm thinking it's one of you guys bringing some food by or something. So I'm like, it's open. Okay, we, he storms ahead. into my room. I look up, and it's freaking, uh, it's it's Ray. It's the pimp, right? Uh -huh. And he's in my room talking about, yeah. he wants a bigger role in the film. He wants back end huh. of the profits, a stipend up front. I didn't well, promise you know, him anything. Do. I didn't promise him shit. I didn't have time to. I didn't know what to do. Right. And he says he needs to go take a crap or something. He wants to go to the bathroom. So I'm like, it's down the hall. That, 
helicopter is close, dude. Look at that. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, get this on film too. Uh, How does this camera work again? I'm a little freaked out by this naturally, so I'm sitting there just thinking about it, and I hear him come back now, and I look up, and it's Professor Rain. I'm like, listen, dude, you really don't want to be here right now. And he's got something he's got to get off his chest, right? You can't use any classroom footage because this is my intellectual property. And I've talked to the committee and they're talking about taking your, your money away. And the provost is mad in this. It's just so I don't even get a chance to tell him that there's a freaking psycho pimp in the bathroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back that up. Yeah, go ahead. They're taking your money away? That's what he's saying. He's been in touch with the foundation and that he's recommending that they pull our funding. I think that's a police helicopter. I mean, they're making their presence fairly obvious, so... Well, they don't seem concerned. We are in space! Oh, shit! Holy shit! Is that the fucking cop, dude? I am not here. Oh, God, oh, God. I'm not fucking here, dude. I'm not fucking here, man. Get close up, get close up, get close up. Don't let him take you. Don't fuck him. My tags are out. Your tags? I don't know. There's police. Do you know what's going on, man? Hey, I've been watching this house, and you might check these cars down there, too. They've been trespassing on my property. I know they're just disrupting this neighborhood. I can't see what's going on inside, but we'll definitely stay here until we have the story. Uh, if I have to go to prison with anyone, I'd want it to be with you. Me too. Uh, no, I mean, is, that, is it over? Are we done? No, 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 this is, this is what we needed to make this thing, to put it right over the top, man. Think about it, okay? I think this is a failure of communication on my part. And I apologize. I sincerely apologize. Because you show... somebody would look at my film before they pass judgment on it for once. Yes, that's. story out of this somehow. So we're at the scene of a successful arrest of three men. I did. Shit! Hello, guys? They, they let me go because they couldn't charge me with anything. Okay. Okay. I wasn't doing anything illegal. There was right. a fifth in my house with warrants out for his arrest and a professor in my house with an ounce of weed <laughs> that's laced with PCP or angel dust something. We're gold, boys. All I gotta do is go before this committee and let them know that, hey, the dude that's been feeding you this this information on, on all our methods and stuff, <laughs> yeah, he just got busted for uh, you know having an ounce of marijuana. <laughs> I definitely have to get a lawyer, if only so I can get the dashboard cam or something from the police station. We're back on board. <laughs> We're better than ever, boys. So <laughs> let's get out of here before they decide to okay, charge guys, me with stuff. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Show's back on. Show's back on. <laughs> Direct away. What's our tempo? It's upside down.
<laughs> yeah, let's do that one more time. Let's do about like like eight measures. Eight is that measures. what you call them? Some bars. Some bars. There's one thing that I need to ask you about. Hmm. I found this in a camera bag, but all the tapes that I bought are black. Put it in. certainly explains a lot. <laughs> Just give me a second, okay? Can you talk about your mother? I can talk about my mother. Of course I can talk about my mother. <laughs> Some Freudian comic strip. <sighs> Sorry. She did the best she could, okay? Since the filmmaker is a part of the process, a part of the events affected and bruised just as much as the subjects and participants, then their voice, the filmmaker's voice, is just as valid. As you can see, I did go get fitted for my tux, eventually. What is this for? Something changed the day I met you in the, uh, in the waiting room of the, well, you know where it was. I was working in a hall. Hospital. Well, we had talked a few times, you know, at the hospital. And the psychiatric, and uh... You knew that I was, uh, traumatized. I was just an intern, so it's totally okay for me to hit on him. I'm just, I'm the lucky, I'm gonna have to turn. People find themselves in situations that they never would have guessed that they would have been in. There are some people just utterly ashamed of what they're having to do with themselves. Anybody um, can find themselves in a situation like this. I don't like to live in regret. I don't really believe in it. I believe regret anchors you to the negative things that have happened to you or that you yourself have done. And we all do negative things. and We all have bad things happen to us. And it's how we move on from them that defines us as human beings. So are there things that, you know, were pretty bad when they went down? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, but I think for the most part, you know, we all just do the best we can. Hey, dude. This is Mike. 
Nobody has seen you. I was wondering if you were even still in school. Message deleted. Hey, Bill. Dylan here. Dude, I need a copy of that documentary to pass the class. You may not care about... Message deleted. Uh, I need to get copies of the footage. I'd like to cut my own. Message deleted. And I really want to pass this class. Everyone's really worried about you. I'm scared. Dylan's scared. Mike's scared. So if you could just give me the rest of the footage, you call back. I don't know. Let me know. I want to know. Let me know. Bye. Call me, asshole. Message deleted. Dude. Honey keeps calling me, and I'm running out of BS to feed her, so she suspects something. She's asking about Marla. How much does she know? You're so screwed. Message deleted. Oh, and another thing. Can you please have Honey... I guess that's your name. Stop calling me. She keeps calling and she's asking about Marla. I don't want to lie to her, but... Message deleted. Bill, honey, called me. I don't know what she knows about the project. She keeps asking me who Marla is. Yeah. You're fucking screwed, dude. Message deleted. Hey, quit being a douchebag and pick up the phone. Message deleted. Hey, Bill, this is Marla. I was just calling to tell you that... You really need to tell that honey girl that you're calling me. I don't know what's going on here or why this chick keeps calling me and asking me about this project you're working on, but I don't really care, so you better tell that bitch to quit calling me. All right? But you should definitely call me sometime. Message deleted. There are no more new messages. You have zero new messages. Our main goal. We're here to evaluate. We're here to make judgments. We're here to judge and measure the nature of reality. It changed my life meeting you. Am I supposed to be talking? Right. Okay. Sorry. Felt the side of myself come back that I hadn't. You still gave me a chance. Reality. It comes to and leads from conflict. It's okay. Don't look at me through the camera. Just talk to me for a second. I'm sorry. That's what I'm trying to say. He was talking about how the river moves things. I know I got a little cheesy with my little river analogy. I move him to do good in his life, and then he just got down on one knee. The world does not function without a woman. There's, there's nothing more beautiful to me. Are you still rolling? No. Conflict. Okay. There's rarely a resolution. I love you. You toughed it out with me. Happiest day of my life. Climb that mountain with me. Spend the rest of my life with you. When we got to the top together, I honestly believe I'm a better man because of you. I love you, honey. Once again, we continue to ask, what is the filmmaker's ultimate duty? Is there a ratified code of conduct? What are the boundaries? Who gets protected? Who is disposable? Is the thesis of the film, its arguments and action, worthy of only certain levels of sacrifice? Or does it justify the ultimate cost? Some would call it a noble, selfless act. Others might weigh the merit of the film's subject against the value of one's own life. A filmmaker's duty is to protect the sanctity of their subjects. Just as the film is an agreement between the audience and the filmmaker, the participants in the film, yes, are agreeing to a certain amount of exposure, maybe even exploitation. The filmmaker is the first and ultimate gatekeeper, the protector of the integrity of the participants. Ultimately, the documentary filmmaker exposes themselves as well, reveals their own ethics and morality. What does that say about the filmmaker? That's the perspective your audience sees. Not spectacle, but the hubris of the artist.
You don't like me very much, do you? Nope. So fucking what? So fucking what? So fucking what? <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I fucked up a couple times in the middle of that. It's all right. I fucked up once, too.